Notre Dame junior Declan Sullivan was following his passion for football and photography when he took a job videotaping football practice for the Fighting Irish. It's been eight years since the Long Grove 20-year-old was killed when strong winds took down the scissors lift Declan stood on to tape practice. And while Notre Dame admitted fault, the Sullivan family chose not to file a lawsuit against the university. I don't remember discussing it. Uh, I said, you know, that's not who we are, that's not what we do. Instead, the Sullivans chose a different path. With unsolicited funds pouring in, the Sullivans set up a memorial fund in Declan's name and directed the money to Horizons for Youth, a Chicago nonprofit that provides scholarships, mentoring, and tutoring for low-income students. We wanted something local, something where we could get personally involved, that we would really see the, uh, the benefit that was being derived from this, this money. Declan's father, Barry Sullivan, is so involved, he left his own career to work here. An annual Declan Sullivan Memorial Fund fundraising event that brings in hundreds of thousands of dollars has allowed Horizons to help many more kids. They've added almost 100 students and much more than that, too. We've had so many supporters th through the Sullivan family. Calling it Declan's class, it started with 40 kids a few years ago. Now it's 90. Declan's legacy is these children. Adriana Martinez came to Horizons when she was 11 years old with the goal to be the first in her family to graduate from college. Last year, she graduated from University of Illinois. It's amazing. I think that every single day we're grateful for that, um, to realize that we had all the we had all the support. Support made possible by Declan Sullivan's legacy. A loss like that takes you very low, and to be uplifted by all that we've seen that has happened since, that's a wonderful gift. 99% of Horizon students graduate from high school, 84% graduate from college. Declan Sullivan's story will be told on Sunday night on ESPN's magazine show, E60.